before going for mathematics optional what is the importance of optional in civil services first we will discuss that total in civil services mains examination you will be writing mains exam for 1750 marks in that 500 marks are allocated for optional 500 marks is allocated for optional next so how much percentage is this run into this it's almost like around 28 percentage almost that range but but in order to get rank optional is the one which is deciding any optional it might be any optional if you want to go to the interview stage or if you want to go to if you want to get the rank optional it is deciding so if you score well in 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 whatever optional you choose then there are higher chances for you to go into the interview stage or even to get a rank that's the importance of optional. Though it, it is showing us just 28%, when in coming to the selection, getting into the interview stage, this is going to play a major role. It's more than 50%. Optional will be that advantageous. And it will decide your, whether you will go get a rank or whether you will be able to go to the interview or not. You're getting the part? So choosing an optional is very, very important in civil services. It's not just any optional. There are almost like 52 subjects are there. In that, you need to choose one optional. There are 52 optionals. Like coming to humanities, political science for bad, uh, economics, history, geography. These are there. Sociology. Coming to engineering, civil, mechanical, and electrical. Coming to medical sciences, medical sciences. Coming to MBA, commerce, as well as master of business administration is there. That's one option. Coming to uh, science, max, physics, chemistry, zoology, botany, um, anthropology, uh, forestry, these are there. Then remaining all 26 or 28 literatures are there. So combined, it, it is taking into 52 options. In that, you need to choose one option. In that, you need to choose one option. Are you getting the point? So optional is going to decide whether you will get a rank or whether you will be able to go attend the interview or not. It decide it it plays a major role in this one, 1750 marks. 1750 marks, it will decide you then coming to max optional first we'll discuss what are the advantages and disadvantages with mathematics optional and what are the myths associated with mathematics option there are a lot of myths which is being circulated in online regarding this mathematics option not just with respect to mathematics optional specifically to sciences options or engineering options or mba optionals there are so many myths associated with that so we'll decode it so what is the uh, what are some advantages disadvantages with mathematics optional first we'll see when it comes to advantages side, objectivity in answers is there. In answers, objectivity will be there. Means, what do you mean by objectivity? Means, um, everyone has started GS uh, preparation, GS classes are going on for everyone. In that, you might have seen that uh, for example in history or in especially ha uh, history geography and all those things you might write answer in one way your friend might write an answer in another way other person might write answer in another way 
all answers are same but um, few people will be getting more marks few people will be getting less marks okay same but that is not present in this in mathematics if you if you know the answers if you are able to write the steps however uh, in different different methods even if you do you'll be getting the same marks or same content answer will be the same that is meant by objectivity so that's the biggest advantage with mathematics it's not just with mathematics any science optionals this is the advantage next come in to the uh, scoring part scoring part mathematics is a high scoring subject very very high scoring total in uh, upsc this is one of the highest scoring options high scoring option just if you are able to present your answer in a better way then you can score it's a very high, very very for example if you attempt for 470 marks in the examination out of 500 you are just attempting for 470 if you are writing the steps for all the attempted questions well and if your answer is almost correct almost correct you'll be getting anywhere in the range of 320 to 350 or 360 i can say 350 or 360 in this range you'll be getting this is not possible in any other humanities options that's the biggest advantage with mathematics option next certainty what do you mean by certainty means i have already discovered in high scoring what do you mean by certainty means if you are attempting for a 10 marks question if your uh, presentation is good if your answer is correct definitely you'll be getting more than six marks definite that you can't tell in other options that is meant by certainty if your presentation is very good very nice your answer is correct you'll be getting around eight to nine marks but in other option like history or uh, not history even if you take gs however well you write you won't be getting more than 50 percent marks out of five, five or six is the highest mark will be there in that. That is meant by certainty. Certainty is high in this. It is certain you can tell. Yes, if I am attempting this, if you, if you know the answer, if you have attempted well, certainly you can tell, yes, I'll be getting this in this range, I'll be getting the marks. That is a, one more thing. Next, it's mostly like I'll take this as a fun, it's like a fun. Why it is fun? Reading GS, 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 uh, especially during mains writing, mains uh, preparation after clearing prelims, your mind gets heated up. And even while preparing now, totally every day you'll be reading like newspaper, GS, everything. So this, ma this mathematics optional is a different thing. It won't combine anything related to current affairs or anything. It's totally static subject. So your mind gets activated with this. Like Sudoku, if you play, how your mind gets activated, even with the mathematics option, that's the thing. That is one more advantage. And one more thing, I can call it as a myth. Okay, we'll cover in myth, we'll cover this. These are some advantages with the mathematics. Some advantages with the mathematics. Now, what are the disadvantages with mathematics option? Every optional has advantages and disadvantages. Don't think that if I take this optional, totally I can clear. Don't think that. Every optional. So, we'll see what are the disadvantages with mathematics option. So, objectivity in answers I said in this advantages. In order to get the objectivity in answers, when you will get, when you cover the entire syllabus, correct? The biggest disadvantage in mathematics optional is, syllabus is huge. 
syllabus is huge it takes just for coaching itself it takes five months five months it takes saying this saying this no other optional can be completed within four months are you getting the point no other optional will be completed within four months next though syllabus is huge rate of return you see rate of return you see you are covering this much syllabus but amount of marks you are getting rate of return is also highest that is not possible in any other optional are you getting the point next syllabus is huge next in metal cover even that is also met yeah certainty in uh, certainty in the marks is there if you write answer well you'll be getting more than 6 marks easily but but if you don't know the question itself if you are unable to understand the question itself then you won't be getting any marks if you understand the question if you don't know the answer but you are presenting it in a if you you are trying it you will be getting the marks but if you do wrong initially itself while understanding the question you won't be getting the marks that is one more disadvantage in the other optionals even if you write related something related to that you will be getting one or half mark but in mathematics that is not possible these are two biggest disadvantages you can say with mathematics option okay next coming to coming to myths here myths what are the myths means this is taken only by the students who are studying in iits or top universities one more myth there is a huge scaling is there one more myth uh, high practice is required uh it takes uh, due to high syllabus it takes large amount of time to complete the syllabus these are some of the myths associated in the with the mathematics and which are being circulated in the net by the people who don't know about mathematics they are circulating this okay then we'll what are why it is called myth myths will decode it iitians this option is chosen mostly by an iitians that is one of the myth why i am calling this as myth means i have a friend who passed out from iit he didn't choose mathematics he chose history as his option okay there are two students um, in 2017 or uh, 18 batch two times they have written ma- uh, this one mains with a geography option two times they have, since they are unable to score marks in the geography optional they shifted to mathematics they started their coaching in the month of december next mains they have written they qualified it they have scored very good marks in that they are not from iit background they after the degree almost like 3 to 4 years gap is there but they have chosen mathematics they got so is it a myth or not it's not just because of the, by them large number of people for example uh, uh, last year there was a student by name vidyada he cleared uh, uh, forest service with mathematics option he got all india 16th rank uh, uh, that before year there was one student he got all india 10th rank with mathematics option those are our students actually institute students and uh, this year one more student with 47 rank They are, those are not from iitians they choose mathematics optional they worked on it they got the rank next scaling what do you mean by scaling just now i told that if you write for 10 marks 
you will be getting either 6 or 7 or 8, I said. That is meant by scaling. Scaling is not just present in mathematics, it is present in every optional. Like in school examination, uh, in schools, when you write mathematics test, 10 out of 10 you will be getting or 100 out of 100 you will be getting. In civil services, you won't be getting that. That is not possible. Full marks are not possible. That is meant by scaling here. So, how many marks you will be getting? Means, it depends upon your presentation. Mostly, if your answer is correct, anything above 60% you will be getting. Anything above 60% only, I am saying. 60% will be the highest in other optionals. So, scaling is not present in other optionals. So, scaling is present in every optional. Why specifically scaling, scaling, why they speak about mathematics optional is, we are habituated in the school days or in the college days that we will get full marks in mathematics optional. But it is not possible. But we will be getting higher marks. Very high scoring subject. Next, one more myth is a practice. Practice. Practice is one more myth. Without doing practice, will you able to get any subject? Leave out about the mathematics. Do you get any subject? In school days, what will happen means, since uh, uh, if you are good at uh, mathematical that thinking, we will be able to tell very easily the answers. Some people who don't have that, they will be saying it as they, have, they, have, they are doing a lot of practice, that's why they are able to tell. So that is called practice. That is called practice for them. Nothing like that. If you do, if in the, during the class time, whenever a class is happening, in the weekdays, if you can invest around half an hour to 45 minutes per day, per day, then you can score very good marks. And after completion of the optional syllabus, Dedicate two or two and a half months for doing the previous year questions. Then, nothing. You can close all your subject. And whenever you clear your prelims, at that time you can open max books. That I can guarantee. Because there are no current affairs associated with mathematics optional. It's totally a static subject. Mathematics doesn't involve any current affairs. In all other optionals, current affairs has to be included. And paper will be very dynamic. In mathematics, paper is static. Totally, it is a static syllabus. Once you complete the syllabus, once you have practiced previous year questions, then you can close your books. Whenever you clear the prelims, at that time you can, even after two years if you clear, at that time you can open. Within two months, you will get total grasp of the subject. You can score very well in this. So, there are no current affairs associated with this. Whatever the practice which we are doing, which will you, you will be doing means during the coaching time, half an hour to 45 minutes and after coaching for doing that previous year questions. That is the practice required. So, huge practice is not at all required. It's not at all required. Like, there is a myth that for IIT JE, they will be preparing, Max will be prepared. They will be, most of the people will be thinking that it will be at that level. No, Max is not present at that level. Lot of questions will be repeated. Syllabus is static. From that part only they are asking the questions. They are not deviating from that part. From the prescribed syllabus itself they are asking the questions. Next, huge time. Is it taking time? Now you tell. Will it take time with all these factors? So, whatever the time other optionals is, uh, other optionals will take, same time even mathematics optional will be taking. I can say, definitely say this will take lesser time if you practice during the, uh, this, uh, if you do previous year questions and during the coaching time if you do, if you dedicate 30 to 45 minutes. This will take very less time compared to other optionals. In other optionals, you need to do you need to include current affairs everything you need to update every day you need to update but this is not required so is it right to call it as myths associated with mathematics what okay saying all this saying all this
Who can choose mathematics as optional? Who can choose? Those guys who has done BTEC or B or MTech, they can choose blindly, they can choose this as option. Why means almost like 60 to 70 percent of the syllabus is already covered in BTEC. Almost 60 to 70 percent is covered in BTEC. It's not a fresh topic. From the scratch, it's not required you to study. If you are from BTEC or all these streams. Any BTEC, any MTEC. No problem. More than 50% syllabus is covered. Already it is covered. Second category. Those who have done BSc or MSc Mathematics or BSc Max Physics Chemistry, they can choose this as option. Why means almost like more than 70% optional is covered already in this. It's not tough. It is not tough. Third category, those who have genuine interest in mathematics, they can take. Those who have good fundamentals at plus one and plus two stage, that is uh, after 10th, 11th class and 12th class will be there now. Those students, those who have general int uh, genuine interest at the at 11th and 12th class and you have interest in mathematics, then definitely you can take. All the basics are starting from that point only, from 11th and 12th class. Now anyone has any doubt, you can bombard with me, your questions. I think I answered your question. Shall I proceed? So, while choosing any optional, not only this mathematics or anything, what you need to focus, what you need to focus, three important things are there while choosing any option. One is interest. This is a fundamental thing, you should have interest in the subject. Why means? It's a, this is a option, this is a paper or this is a subject where you will be investing lot of time and this will decide your rank also. This is going to decide your rank. So you need for, uh, for reading or for studying, you should have that genuine interest. Then it will be good. Second, good material or mentor is required or a coaching material or coaching or mentor if someone is there to guide you it will be good any option any option not just for mathematics any option third test series test series it's not about how much you study, it's about how much you have applied that while writing the test. That is important. After writing the test, the, after, after writing the test, this mentor has to correct and he has to give the feedback. If these three are available, then you can take any option. It's not just mathematics, any option you can choose. These are the basic three things which are required while choosing an option. If anyone is missing, don't choose that option. Not only this, don't choose that option. Optional is, co is going to decide your rank, I'm telling. It will decide your rank. So be careful, take time and then choose an option. Think over it, see the previous year questions little bit familiar or little bit interest if you have search material means books like engineering books or normal mathematics books or any subject books or whatever the option you have 
if is it available in the market if books are not available for example i like uh, management but if books are not available near me so I, I, I may be missing something right are you getting the point so that becomes tough so just get that these are the three basic thing to choose required to choose any option you you have to analyze it you have to analyze it next coming to our syllabus mathematics syllabus how it would be paper 1 paper 1 has 6 units so what are the 6 units means linear algebra in this matrices is also present the matrices which you have studied in 11th and 12th class next calculus next 3d geometry or solid geometry these are the three units present in this next three units are ordinary differential equations ordinary differential equations next one vector analysis next one this is a physics topic statics and dynamics statics and dynamics these are the six units present in paper one of mathematics option so what are the special things which you will be learning in these six units for example in linear algebra in linear algebra linear algebra contains pure linear algebra and matrices matrices part you have already studied only thing you need to study is linear algebra that what do you mean by square matrix rectangular matrix I, uh, uh, what do you mean by similar singular matrix orthogonal matrix those things unit matrix those things diagonalization that one that will be that is there in matrix which you will be freshly studying is linear algebra where most of the btex students may not be aware of it those who have done bsc or mxc they know about this linear algebra now coming to calculus what does calculus contains limits continuity differentiation limits which are studied in plus one stage continuity plus one stage differentiation plus one stage what is a new thing means there you are studied with single variable here you will be studying with single variable as well as two variables and application of limits continuity and differentiation are you getting the point apart from this there is one more topic is there in calculus that is integration integration that will be studied you know integration here little bit extension of it that will be studied next 3d geometry those who are from btec and uh, btec bag btec background may not be in few universities it is included but few universities it's not included so 3d geometry includes that uh, totally it's like a plane what uh, how how what do you mean by plane it's a 3d concepts that that will be new that will be new that is a new topic next ordinary differential equations this almost every every student of btech those who have done engineering and those who have done bsa max mathematics they know about this ordinary differential equations like for example variable separable method have you heard somewhere something about this that those things are present in this those things one of the easiest unit and you'll be getting almost like 70 marks from this itself next vector analysis one more easiest unit and smallest unit also 
vector analysis. All the BTEC graduates have done this. Without this, there is no BTEC. Without this, there is no BTEC or BE. Next, new thing which uh, BTEC guys will be studying will be statics and dynamics. Even this will be covered by BSC and MSc guys. Fresh thing where the BTEC graduates has to concentrate is in this paper one, these two units. 3D geometry and statics and dynamics. Remaining everything are covered already. Why I said 60% of the syllabus is covered is because of this. Are you getting the point? It's not a new thing. It's you're not learning from the scratch. For other optionals, you need to learn from the scratch. Are you getting the point? That's the biggest, that's a big difference compared to mathematics and other optionals. This one, paper one constitute 250 marks. For the 250 marks, this is the syllabus. And how the paper will be there means, it is divided into section A and section B. Section A and section B. How the paper, mains paper will be there means, for example, paper one, they'll be giving eight questions Eight questions in this you need to write five questions just five questions how they will give means from section A four questions from section B four questions what is the syllabus this is syllabus. no current affairs nothing no current affairs from this part they will be giving questions in this four units for uh, four questions from this part four questions this only there is no new thing in the once you cover the syllabus, none of the thing will be outside. Everything will be from the syllabus itself. Nothing new to invent for you. Everything will be present in this. Is that clear? So this is the total paper one syllabus. Total paper one syllabus is this. Next. Where uh, this uh, where you will be feeling tough or somewhat tough in this part means uh, some people face little bit uh, initial days understanding 3D, understanding 3D, little bit for, for one or two weeks they will be feeling different. Next one more is dynamics part easily you can understand for statics part it will take time. This is a place where it will take time. Remaining all topics are very easy topics. It doesn't require much time to understand. Very easily you can understand. These are the two places where you will be facing little bit toughness. Are you getting the point? Next. Coming to the paper 2. Paper 2 totally has 7 units. In this also, we'll see about like section A and section B. In section A, we have modern algebra. Next, real analysis. Next, um, complex analysis. linear programming problems. This is also called by the other name operational research. Other name for linear programming is operational research. These are the four units. Fifth unit is partial differential equation, sixth unit is numerical analysis, seventh unit is mechanics. This is one more physics topic. This is a paper 2 syllabus. Totally you have 13 units, just 13 units. Paper 1 and paper 2 combined you have 13 units. Okay? In this, 
what is the new thing which beta graduates will be learning will be modern algebra you won't be having that in plus one or plus two stage you might be studying about a commutative group associative property those things those things are there but it's a fresh fresh topic for beta graduates but for bsc and msc graduates bsc and msc graduates they are good at this it's already there next reliances and reliances is nothing but extension of the calculus whatever you have studied in the paper one calculus your application of that will be there only that only that next complex analysis like vector analysis this is also easiest unit vector analysis in paper one similar way here also complex analysis is there one more easiest unit next this is these two units are easy totally easy and it takes less time to complete also linear programming problems you might be aware or uh, no i don't know but very easy very very easy very very easy are you getting the point very very easy so or don't know whether you have done, you have studied this operational research or linear programming in btech or no but this is a very easiest unit in total mathematics what are the easiest units if you ask me i'll say lpp vector analysis complex analysis very easy units even once you listen it you can directly go on write in the examination these three units will be like that that much easier these units are next coming to the, uh, this is partial differential equations it's um, extension like in um, ordinary differential equations you'll be dealing it is also a differential equation there you'll be dealing with one variable here you'll be dealing with two variables two variables some universities have pde in their syllabus in some universities it's not there those who don't have initially to understand they might feel difficult here otherwise it's a easiest unit only next numerical analysis i won't tell anything about this right from school days you are doing this numerical analysis have you remembered this uh, bisection method or ranja kutta method or simpson's method have you heard these words those things only again you will be learning here you will be dealing this again but this uh, syllabus will be like and uh, one more part is uh, those who have done um, uh, btech like uh, truth tables truth tables and or uh, or logics that diagram logic circuit diagram those are present in your class boolean algebra that is present next tough part will be mechanics tough part will be mechanics this is a pure physics part pure physics part even for beta graduates as well as for bsc and msc mathematics this is the toughest unit. in the entire syllabus toughest unit if you ask me mechanics is a toughest unit so this is the entire syllabus of mathematics paper 1 and paper 2 here also same thing eight questions you need to answer five questions section a four questions section b four questions in that you need to choose five questions first and fifth question compulsorily you need to attend in the examination remaining three questions you can attempt in any way Are you getting the point? So that is that is how the syllabus is filled. Can I ask, sir? You are saying this only thirteen units. Why you are taking five months? In other options, almost like twenty, thirty units are there. They are completing within four and a half months or four months. But only thirteen units. Why you are taking this much time? You are saying huge syllabus you are taking. You are telling lies or what? No, no. what happens means in every topic of this sub topics i need to explain clearly everything will be covered in other options for example uh, with one example i'll tell you for example in Mo, in india most of the people will be playing cricket so with a cricket example i'll tell you if if you want to learn bowling So, uh, if I am the coach, what I will tell means, yeah, you can run and drop the ball. Drop the ball. You need to swing your hand. 
once you go to the empire you need to swing the ball and throw the ball near to the batsman you should not throw to somewhere that's a basic thing so that is how other options will be done but in mathematics what's the what uh, what's the problem with uh, this wins i need to teach how to run how to catch the ball where to catch the ball is it an in swinger or out swinger or you need to go with a leg spin or off spin like in this detail we need to go in other options if we go in that way it works but in mathematics it's it is not possible are you getting the difference it's a professional coaching other is a gully cricket what the difference that's why it is taking time it takes time and will be covered every part from where upsc is asking from the last for example uh, options were introduced uh, mathematics this syllabus was framed in 1979 in 2008 little bit of uh, modification has been done to the syllabus so from all that pattern after analyzing from which part of the uh, unit they are asking questions from where they are asking how they are asking we need to discuss this part also when you are preparing for the examination you will be getting this idea that is how this will be done that's why it take time it's not just completing the syllabus when a question paper comes how you will be able to analyze immediately with a very fast rate that is that is taught here it's not just a completion if i want to complete the syllabus it takes just 3 and 1/2 to 4 months as other options or any like simply it, it will be done but that is not the goal once you get the syllabus we need to analyze it from where they are asking from which type of questions are possible what type of questions they have asked previously in which part that we need to analyze that will take that's why this will take little bit extra time this optional will be taking little bit extra time but saying this once you complete that in that detailed way your syllabus is over just you need to practice previous year questions so uh, you might again ask does previous year questions will be covered previous year questions will be covered means most like for example like real analysis or modern algebra or pde or any unit in that sub topic when a sub topic comes i'll be covering what are what kind of questions they have asked almost like for example in the last 10 years they might have asked around 6 to 7 questions from that i might be covering around 4 to 5 questions i might be missing like 6 to say 2 or 3 questions there or 3 questions there like that i won't say that i'll be covering entire previous year questions is that clear major part will be done major part will be done that will be discussed whenever any unit starts will be providing you that previous year question part in that unit that how it is analyzed that will be yeah. now how to how you need to cover the syllabus though it is divided into paper 1 and paper 2 how you need to cover the syllabus this is the most important thing so total syllabus total paper 1 and paper 2 can be divided into three parts one is calculus part one is algebra part one is physics part this is a broad division of the syllabus in this what it will be there pure calculus plus real analysis vector analysis plus complex analysis ode plus pd this comes under calculus why i am saying calculus means in the basic part of the calculation uh, calculus what we will be dealing with differentiation and integration in all these units we will be dealing that only in all the units we will be dealing that only that's why we it come it i kept this in the, under calculus so when you start your preparation go do this units at a time at once you do this second part algebra what is the syllabus which is contained means linear algebra plus modern algebra 3d geometry 
next LPP and numerical analysis. Let's numerical analysis. Anything? I say that's it. This comes under pure algebra part. Pure algebra. Here, no differentiation and integration except numerical analysis. Again, differentiation and integration comes here, but purely it will be this. Next physics part, it includes statics and dynamics. Next, mechanics. This is the broad division of syllabus. Entire syllabus, it can be divided into this. Whether 13 units have come? All the 13 units? So when you start your preparation, whether you take this option or not, those who, are, those who want to take coaching or not, what you do means, first complete out this silver, this calculus part. Once you complete out, you'll get enormous confidence. These six units, if you do it, you'll get enormous confidence. Then you proceed to algebra part. After completion of algebra, go to the physics topics. And one more thing, syllabus is not framed in um, like a standard pattern like once you, once after completion of paper one only you need to go to paper two. No, it's not like that. For example, linear algebra is kept in paper one, modern algebra is kept under paper two. But, but basic of linear algebra is from end of modern algebra. Only after completion of modern algebra you can do linear algebra. So, the syllabus framing is not in a correct way. With, uh, the pattern they have kept in paper 1 and paper 2 is not in a correct way. So, even that we need to align ourselves. Those things are there. Those things you need to do. And uh, how this, uh, for example, I will give one. Uh, it or one or two units, how I will discuss about any unit, any unit will be for example, I will take uh, ODE, ODE, ordinary differential equation, what I will be, how the syllabus is there, how the syllabus is there, formation, initially for every unit at the start or at the end, I will be giving this flowchart. So, this flowchart becomes your standard pattern while you are preparing. From where the question is coming, you can immediately point out. That is the place where you need to focus. This is the first part is formation of differential equations. Next, first order plus first degree differential equations. Next, clariates. Next, application of first order application of first order. Next, higher order. In higher order, we have basic part. That is, in basic part, we will be dealing with complementary function how to find complementary function and how to find particular integral. In this, we will be dealing about uh, method of variation of parameters. When part of complementary function is known, when by method of independent variables, these are some of the techniques. Next, higher order. Next, simultaneous differential equations. Next, Laplace transform. Laplace transform. This, oh, I have taken one unit. This is the entire syllabus of ODE. So, where you need to focus? How they are asking questions? From which part they are asking question? That is a major part. So, every year, every year, at least two questions will be framed from this part. From this part, every year, at least two questions. From this part, one question will be there. From this, this is a compulsory question, Clariates form. In this, 
one method is there that is exact or equation reducible to exact from that question will be there. Next, this uh, sometimes very rarely they will give a question. Once uh, in the last 15 years they have asked around twice or once they have asked a question. Very rarely they ask a question. From Laplace transforms every year two questions will be given but that too it will come for either just for 10 or 15 marks. 10 or 15 marks. And from the formation of differential equations, uh, rarely like simultaneous differential equations, this one also very rarely they will ask a question from this. So every unit flowchart will be given like this, where you need to focus it will be given and which part UPSC is asking question, every unit either at the starting or at the end I will be giving this. Are you getting the point? And in this also, where you need to, if this is the important part, where you need to focus more. What type of questions they are asking, that we will be discussing more. And how to present the answer. Presentation is important. How to present the answer. It is not just the answer, how to present it to get more marks. What is the difference, uh, what is the thing with mathematics optional means? Um, I assume there are 100 people are writing for mains with mathematics option. I assume. In that 90 percent people or even 90 percent people will be knowing the exact answer. 90 people will be knowing. Only 10 people will be, may not be able to do entire problem. But 90 people knows every question. But all the 90 people will not get good marks. All the 90 people will not be scoring more than 320 or 330 marks. So what is the difference? Difference is the way of presentation that will be taught here. Okay, how the difference of presentation will vary means, for example, in paper one, I said five questions you need to write. In that sub questions will be there. So it comes around totally total number of questions. If you take, if you leave out the marks and everything, it will be for almost like twenty to twenty two questions. In that, in each question, if you get compared to others, if you are able to score more than at least one mark more with the way of your presentation. How much marks you will be getting in paper 1 compared to others? 20 marks extra. Paper 2, 20 marks. Totally it will be 40. 40 marks plays a huge role in UPSC, in option. That is the difference between the person who is getting 280, 290 or 250 when compared to 300 or 330 or even 350 marks. That is the difference. It's just the presentation. Presentation plays a huge role. To improve your presentation, what will be what we will be doing means while dealing with the subject, when I am teaching, I'll be focusing on where, how to write the answer. A apart from solving the problem, where you need to keep the important things. How to uh, uh, underline the important things at which places. Second important uh, second place where you can improve your answers is. After completion of every unit or two units, if it is a small unit, we will be conducting a test. After conducting test, will be one to one discussion will be there. It is not for the marks, it is for your presentation. Improve your presentation. That will be done. That is how this syllabus is done. Are you getting the point? This is for one unit. If you go with the uh, uh, one more unit if you want. For example, calculus and analysis. This totally, this two units combined, you will be getting around 120 to 150 marks. Out of 500, this two units itself will be covering 120 to 150 marks. So, this total syllabus can be divided into two types that is LCD. Integration. LCD means limits continuity differentiation. Limits continuity differentiation. Integration. In LCD, you will be dealing with single variable and two variables and applications. Applications. Five applications are there. Application. In integration, 
you will be dealing with definite integral next um, multiple integrals integrals next you will be dealing with riemann integration improper This is your entire syllabus on LCD and so sorry, calculus and LCD. So, where you need to focus in here, these two. This two. Here, there is one more topic called a last petal rule or indefinite uh, limits. Even that is important in the LCD of single variable, that will be. Those are the important. In this, this part every year one or two questions will be there. One question, one question compulsorily. And application part, almost five applications are there. You will be getting four to five questions from that. Right. Entire syllabus is that only. And one more part which I, which I missed out is sequences and series. This is the third part of LC. In this, you will be getting uniform conversions. From this, you will be getting either 10 or 15 marks. One question will be there. Uniform conversions. That's it. This is the entire syllabus of calculus and analysis. If you see that syllabus copy, there will be almost like a 10 to 15 lines are there if you combine this. But the entire syllabus can be framed in this way. So, this is how syllabus will be taught here. Not just the syllabus, even when we deal about the and uh, topics, subtopics will be done in this way. We'll be decoding or anatomy of the body, how MBBS guys will be doing. Your syllabus also will be uh, will be doing that. Entire thing. It's not just on the top level we'll do it and we won't be doing that. That's the issue. That's why it takes a little bit more time. Every part will be done. These two I have given these two units just for your understanding how the syllabus will be taught. From next week, next Saturday or Sunday when our class starts. Initially I will be dealing with, first day I will be dealing with the basics itself, total basics of mathematics which you have studied in 10th class or 12th class. That will uh, re uh, revise it. Total those things will be revised. It. Then we will start. On Sunday we will be starting our syllabus. Okay. Now if you have any doubts, you can ask. Uh, whether it may be silly doubt or big doubt or small doubt, anything you can ask. One thing in the class, I need two-way communication. If you have any doubt at any place, directly you ask the question. I won't be the, that kind of uh, teacher like that. If you ask questions, I'll be doing anything, nothing like that. Only if you ask the questions, I'll be getting motivated to explain in a different way. Otherwise, only single way. I, whatever I think, I'll be explaining. But if you are, if you are unable to understand, I'll be able to explain that concept in a different way. Until unless you ask, I can't explain how you are understanding. I will, I may not be understand. I may not be able to know. So you need to ask the doubts wherever you don't understand. Almost like uh, 60 to 70 percent of the previous questions will be discussed while that chapter or unit is going on. Somewhere one or two questions will be, I might be missing. One or two, that's like that. What it will be there? For example, in dynamics, hmm. uh, do you know projectile motion? That it, that will be there. Have you, re have you read about this uh, v square, v is equivalent to u plus a t, v square minus u square is equivalent to 2 a s, those problems will be there. Application of that, are you getting the point? In statics, what it will be there means? Assume this is a string. 
I'm attaching a weight. So how much tension is there in this? Are you getting the point? This one is like it, assume this one is like a triangle. Here, one weight is attached to one end of the triangle. Here, both ends are attached to one more strings. So, what is the tension in this string or in the in these strings? That will be that. In the static, that is the most difficult. Are you getting the point? From all the units. From all the units in that section. So you can't miss any unit. Sub questions will be there in that. In the first question, you'll be in every question you'll be having sub questions. First question will be, for example, assume this is section A. First question will be one question will be from this, one question will be from this, one question will be from this, one question will be from this. For 10, 10, 10 more marks. One, go, one more question, the mostly they will be giving from real analysis. Like that. So you can't miss out any unit. It's not like academic examination that I will read two units. You can miss out. No, it's not possible. For example, ODE in paper 1, it constitutes almost 70 marks. Out of 250, 70 marks are from that only. And this reliances and calculus combinedly, out of 500, almost like 120 to 150 marks will come from reliances and calculus combinedly itself. Out of 500. So, that's the advantages. Those who have done BSc physics, yes, you can take, no problem. Uh, there was uh, 2019, not 2009, yeah, 2019 only. Uh, two students were joined, two students or one student, exactly I didn't remember. He has done with uh, agriculture actually, but he was able to do better. But he worked uh, very hard for the initial six months. Then, and once he got that grip on that uh, basic funda of that mathematics, then he went on. So those who are from other background other than BSc, MSc, Mathematics or B.Tech or M.Tech backgrounds, but those who have general inter genuine interest in Mathematics, initially for few months you will be facing difficulty. Once you get that grip in the Mathematics that uh, any subject uh, that uh, to, gen uh, to generate that interest or to get the grip, it takes time. Once you get that, it can be done. So even Mathematics the same thing. BCOM, BCOM little bit hard work you need to do. Uh, how good you are at uh, plus one plus two stage in mathematics? 60 percent. So uh, once uh, plus one that NCRT book or anything, um, once you do differentiation and integration, once you see that, if you are able to understand, if you are able to do the problems, then you can take this. Don't uh, don't think that uh, uh, one option will be highly scoring that uh, no disadvantage, nothing like that. Every option has advantages and disadvantages. Be careful. Don't go blindly with anything, The especially the uh, myths uh, they are circulating in the net. Don't follow that. Every option is same. Every option is same. Even literature options are also same. Every In every subject, you need to invest the time. Then only you will be getting it. Until unless you work, no subject you will get. You need to invest time. You need to work hard there. In any option, in any option, why mathematics become uh, tougher, tougher uh, means here it will be problems associated will be there. In the other it will be theory. Theory means anything can be a theory, right? So there won't be anything like if you write this, it will be correct or not. But in mathematics, uh, after two to three steps, if you are unable to get, I am not getting. That immediately you will get that. That is the thing it makes. From scratch, it will be covered. Every unit, first of initial one, uh, like one hour or two hours, basics will be discussed. Then we will be going into the subject.
uh, books I'll be providing regarding that material or books anything. Books, all the standard textbooks which are there, I'll be providing you the soft copy. Soft copy will be provided. No, if you uh, actually notes is enough, notes is enough. Or if you have BTEC books, BTEC Engineering Mathematics or BSc Mathematics books are there, that those are also enough. Apart from this, if you want, you can refer these books also. Their soft copies will be provided. For physics, this one mechanics as well as paper one statics and dynamics, total material will be provided. Handout uh, hard copy material will be provided. And uh, for some units in some topics, again material will be provided. Like that. It's not that entire unit will be provided. It won't. Class notes will be discussing everything. In the class, we'll be discussing that. That is it. No, no, it's not NCRT is not there after 12th class. Only after 12th class that NCRT will be there. Now for practicing, I'll be giving the questions only. I'll be giving the question. Previous year questions will be there. We'll be discussing the topic almost like in a, almost uh, in every subsection we'll be dealing at least five questions. Apart from that, I'll be giving one or two or two to three questions. Homework I'll be giving in that previous year questions. What you need to work, I'll tell. It will be more than enough. Uh, now, if you ask me the time duration means, this is July. In the July mid, we'll be starting. Next week, next weekend, we'll be starting. August, September, October, November, December. If any holidays or on Saturday and Sunday, if holidays are coming or some other reason, if classes are not going on well as, as we thought, it might extend to January. Otherwise, December mid or December ending classes will be done or for one month grace period in January it will be done. If you take one month grace period in that January it will be done. Class timings will be for uh, on Saturday and Sunday classes will be there weekends um, morning 8.30 to 1. 8.30 to 1. In the middle break will be given for half an hour break will be given. Class will be on Saturday and Sunday. Sometimes uh, at the end, at the end or in the middle, I might take around one week or 10 days max, daily, weekdays also. Only that in middle somewhere, I'll be taking that. Depending on how the syllabus is going on, how the progress in the syllabus is happening, depending on that. It will be taught in English medium only. Total English language only. So everyone can understand. No, 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 no. It's not at all related with engineering methods. Don't worry. And uh, those who scored very less marks in BTEC or uh, BSc, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Now, UPSC. It all depends upon you only, how you write the answer. For example, there was a, one uh, guy who has failed 10th class 6 times. 10th class 6 times. To complete his graduation, he has took 5 years for doing normal graduation. It's not beta current then. He took 5 years. But at present, he is a collector, senior collector, a senior IAS officer in Madhya Pradesh. So, whatever it has happened in the graduation or below that, it doesn't matter. Now, whatever you do, it matters that. So, focus now. And once the class starts from next week, I'll open the Telegram channel in that. Whoever is there, I'll be adding that. In that, you can communicate directly. You can communicate. Okay then, that's it for the mathematics option demo. Thank you.